What do these two things have in common? The Koanda effect. We can use our Schlieren optics setup to actually see how the air flows past an object. Here's a uh, cylinder, cardboard cylinder, and my source of air is going to be simply a hair dryer. And as I bring the hair dryer closer and closer, you see the flow of air is straight, but when it is close to the object itself, the air gets deflected downward. It follows the contour of the cylindrical object. When it's far away, it goes straight. This is true for any object. Here's a spherical object, a basketball. Again, if I bring the airflow close to the basketball, notice how it gets deflected downward. It tends to wrap around and follow the contour of the ball. So you notice when the air is far away from the ball, it just goes straight. Whereas as I get closer and closer to the ball, it actually follows the contours of the ball and curves around. What's going on? Why does it do that? Well, we can understand it by assuming there's friction between molecules in the air. We call that viscosity. So if you assume for a moment that the air is going to go straight and not deflect, um, molecules that are sitting underneath the airflow feel a friction force to get dragged along with the airflow and leave that area, producing a reduced pressure area here. And it's reduced compared to what's up above. And so there's a net force that pushes the airflow down and it continues to curve around the ball. And that's the Kawanda effect. Let's have a look at a ping pong ball being supported by a jet of air, again supplied by our hair dryer. Notice as I tilt the hair dryer, the ball remains in the stream of air and is still levitated, but also notice how the bottom of the ball is deflecting the air so it wraps around. The air follows the contour of the shape of the ball. It's really annoying when you're pouring wine and the wine drips down the side of the bottle. We can thwart the Kawanda effect by making the lip of the bottle really sharp. We can do that with a piece of foil, which I'll roll up and put into the bottle. And no drips whatsoever. <laughs>